Hello, I'm David Mitchell and I'm the author of Cloud Atlas uh, and one or two other things, uh, Thousand Autons of Jacob de Zoot is my last one. Um, and I'm here in New York to talk about Cloud Atlas today. Favourite writers, favourite books, there are lots of those. Uh, starting off as a kid, of course, um, Tolkien and Ursula Le Guin and these things I loved as a kid and made me think, ah, I want to do that. Uh, then getting older, Chekhov, Conrad, Dickens, I, I, I love their work. Uh, more specifically books, well since we're in New York and since it happens to be here, The Bonfire of the Vanities is a damn fine book, as is since it's two down, it's quite spooky. Uh, I read The Yellow Birds by Kevin Powers a few months ago and took the top of my head off and it was wonderful. There's a British writer of short stories who used to be huge here in the 50s and 60s. She wrote a lot for The New Yorker uh, called Sylvia Townsend Warner and she's largely been forgotten but she's due a renaissance like Edith Wharton's had a renaissance in recent years. Great, quite obscure, but um, Iceland has one Nobel laureate called Haldor Laxness and he wrote, his masterpiece is called Independent People, just about a farmer in Iceland between about 1830 and the 1920s or so. And it's amazing. It's really, really good. I like Pavonine. Pavonine. One, two, three. Pavonine. Thank you. It's one of these Latin-based animal words. You know, um, f feline is for cats, uh, canine for dogs, equine for horses, corvine for crows, but Pavonine is in the manner of a peacock. Isn't that a great word? One of my favourite Japanese words is icicle, which is tsulala. Tsulala. There's something icicly about that, the way the sunshine glints through them. Less liked words are words that are fresh corruptions that I haven't gotten used to yet. So um, uh, there's not so much words but usages, like I really didn't love that. And I kind of said, well, if you didn't love it, then no, 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 what you mean is you hate it. Just say it. Don't sort of say it. Uh, so, so, so these sort of... Uh, anyway, go on, you were saying. Oh, um, I've got one word that I invented, which is schmizak, which is when two people start saying something at the same time and you have to do what we just then, which is, no, after you, no, after you. Uh, and, and, and sort of we schmizacked each other. The English patient's great. Uh, as it happens, and my favourites is Cloud Atlas. I know I would say that, wouldn't I? But uh, the way the directors have not kind of slavishly created an audio book with pictures attached to it. I mean, they, they, they've sort of... Uh, it is different in places, but, but in really good ways. They sort of properly disassembled the book and then reassembled it in the form of a film uh, according to, if I may use this language, their own artistic visions and... Uh, that's the biggest compliment they could have paid it, really. And, and I think that's why adaptations work when they do. Uh, they reassemble in such a way, write the script in such a way that it plays to the strengths of film as a medium. Just as when I write books, I play to the strength of the novel as a medium. <laughs>